this time two years sentence. My daughter, nobody are uh, able to bring her to visit me here. So that is the hardest part. Hope they don't come back. Uh. Okay. If I come See. back, I bring you back. <laughs> See you outside. Uh. If I come back, I can't visit you. <laughs> Last time we are animal locked in a cage, then now we can explore around the zoo. Uh. Okay, so this is my bed where I've been staying. Usually we will charge our PowerPoint for the tagging over here, nearest to our bed. Lah. This is my locker. The officer here don't do standby bed like our army, but they do surprise check because we are not uh, supposed to lock our locker. Lah. So that's why they can have access to see if we have hidden any contraband or anything. Yeah. The difference in prison and here is that here we got fans on top of us. We were bathed as usual, like the prison style, but it's more luxury because got three space. There is a big mirror for us to look at ourselves. Very important when you have hairs. Uh. <laughs> if you don't have hairs, okay lah. Yeah, nothing to yeah, nothing to style also. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now it's better we can choose our own soap and the brand that we want to use. Here, we also uh, in charge of our own things, in charge of our cleanliness. Here is quite free and easy. Usually, they will open the room door in the morning, then they will close the room door uh, at night. We reach our so-called pantry. Then we have coffee, we have tea over here. OK, now I'm making coffee. This is also the place that we get uh, our breakfast. Whatever prison eat what, we also will eat. Today is my first day of work. I feel excited. Uh. The job role is guest service agent. How have I prepared myself? I try to brainstorm uh, what would be the expectation of a front desk. What do I need to do? What do I need to present myself? So I'm trying to think about it. Do I begin the call? The last I in contact with my mom was last year. Then I tried to call her on Raya. Cannot get through. So let's say she's still staying at my stepbrother's place. He will not allow, like you know, using the phone. And my sister complained to me saying my mom did not been treated quite well. She cannot eat whatever that they cook. So to me, this is making me a mental torture and making me a hard time serving my time in prison. I tried to call my mom for three times. She did not answer the phone. Lah. So, so far, no answer. So, um, try calling her first. Can. Hello? Hello, this is Sajid Iman calling from uh, Singapore Prison Service. Um, can I speak to Alicia? Okay, hold on. Yep. Hello, hi. Is this Alicia? Yeah. Yeah, hi. I'm Sergeant Imad from Singapore Prison Service. I have your father here with me, Kyril. He's allowed to call you for 10 minutes, okay? Okay. You are not allowed to have any recording lah, of this conversation. No one else is to be interfering lah, with this call throughout. Okay. How are you? I'm good. So, how's everything? Have you visited Nene or have you in contact with Nene? No, but I do not 
my daughter tell me sometimes she drop by to my late father house to see anybody staying there or not. She found out that my mom is staying there alone. So I was shocked lah. They didn't need you a favor. Get a fifty dollar, go down to Nene and just give to Nene. I no money. I already send you three hundred dollars. You don't tell me have no money. You just give Nene. I think Nene is in need. Okay. Let's say you free during weekends, just go there and look after her and ask her whether she needs any help. Okay. At times, yeah, through my daughter being open with me, you know, like sometimes, like, Daddy, I never go to school. <laughs> then I ask her why, uh, because knowing Nene condition, I don't feel that Nene is safe, so I just go there. It's really blessing to hear from my daughter, but have a worried part in me. What about her studies? Masih punting lagi tak? Yeah. Why? Cause I cannot manage. Take things one at a time. Kan, Daddy pernah cakap. You want anything and everything, I will give it to you. You just focus on your study. If you never focus on your study, how am I able to take care over you? And how are you able to stay with me? You need to reconsider that. Daddy will be releasing next week, Thursday. Thursday or Wednesday day? Eh, hey, Wednesday. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Have you made up your mind if Daddy release you on a stay with Daddy? I don't know. Put it this way. Weekdays, Monday to Friday, you stay at your mom's place. Then weekends, you can go back to Daddy's bedroom. Yeah. That's much more better because from there, I know how I can support and how you can get uh, to help Nene lah. Yeah. So be good girl, study hard. Daddy will see you soon. I love okay. you. I miss you. Don't forget to salat and assalamualaikum. Okay, I love you too. Salam. I always tell my daughter, be better than who I am. My highest education is only primary two, and I don't want you study until you know secondary, and that's it. I think I want you to study all you can, so in the future you can have a better life, better than mine, especially. I just end my work. It's about two weeks, so I find it still new to me, uh, quite challenging. For a start, is letting me to handling the call, the inquiries. It's not operating today. Uh, they open tomorrow. Some of the challenges they are facing is that some occasions they talk too fast. So I'm trying to learn myself to actually listen uh, more clearly. Every day is rushing. Uh. I was given two hours to travel and to eat. They say it's enough lah uh, for eat and travel. But then I have to take bus to the nearest MRT, Stephen. So I will actually take MRT to Templates. After I have to change to another bus to reach S2. Two hours is definitely very short. Then I have to tap out and eat at the bus. So no choice there. Yeah. Just a follow up uh, from your request to visit your daughter. Okay. So we arrange to meet up with your ex-wife. So then... she she agree. She haven't decided. She said she will consider. Because she needs to speak to you first. Okay. She needs to understand you and your current mindset. She needs to assess your situation. Okay. So uh, we'll be arranging for Zoom, probably in the mid of uh, July. So after this assess, uh, I can meet my daughter already? It really depends on, uh, on your ex-wife. One of the discussion with uh, your ex-wife, she mentioned about uh, the payment of maintenance fee to her. Lah. Any thoughts? Uh, inside prison, I really um, plan for it. So even without meeting my daughter, I will still pay. Lah, because I think it's, yeah, uh, it's my daughter's rights. Lah. OK, Grayson, try out this order. You go and pick this item. Follow just now the procedure that I taught you. Oh. Uh, how are? Let's go, guys. Time for lab session. All right, let's go. Uh, 
this is my third year in prison school, right? For the first year and the second year, I didn't have a chance to go to computer lab. So when I see it, I say, well, it's, just, it's not bad. Lah. In prison, you have this type of facilities lah, to accommodate the students, right? Inside the computer, like, you won't have the thoughts of that you're in prison. It's air conditioned, right? You just do your work, and time goes very fast. Hey, Sarah. Okay. Forgot my password. Eh? Because I said them use computer, right? So I forget. Eh? Why don't you typing? Eh? My typing, I just use one finger. I take time, sir. I only know how to surf internet. So, PowerPoint, I'm still struggling. I'm going to do a research on learning and development. Usually, when I need to do research, the link will be provided by the teacher. Only the approved link we can enter. Other than that, we cannot enter. We cannot suka suka search the internet because it's restricted. Okay, this is the link for my project. So I just click which website I want to go. So for example, for now, I want to go to HR Malaysia, right? I click. Ah, so this are my research material. Access to Google. I can type, no. But if I go in, right, the teacher will know. If he's sleeping, ah, I okay lah. If if he's awake, right, they will charge me. Yeah. They don't see straight. I will definitely go into other website. Ah. I want to know what happened is outside there. Uh, because our news is like back data, right? So I can search for the latest news. Uh. If there's any access to unauthorized website, we may take away their privilege of uh, using computing device. For more uh, serious offense, uh, the students may be expelled from the course. I need to come up with a presentation uh, to carry 20% of the marks. I think for this project, it's quite a lot. Because the previous project, the president said only 5%. For this, I have to talk a lot. To compare with writing, I prefer talking. Now, I want to find a picture of a dog for my project. Because I got the idioms about dog, right? There, so I got a picture of a dog. You can teach an old dog in tricks. From the links that I provide, I can download everything I want to make my presentation, my answer. Today is first day of my new job. Actually, I was working as a mover at Helping Hand. It's not about I am unhappy. It's just that the pay is too low for me. You only get $500 per month. Because I have family to take care, there's a lot of expenses for me to pay. My friend, he is also uh, undergoing CBP program. Uh. He's also working at the same place, so I just join him. There, he can fetch me there, uh, so it's easier for me. Uh. Um, what I'm going to go through this morning will be your contract. Just check that your full name and your address is correct. Yes. All right, today is the 19th of July. Position, procurement assistant. These are your working hours. So it will be from 9 to 6 for your full days, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. Your half day will be on a Thursday. I find a job from Yellow Ribbon. To be honest, I'm not interested in this, but I have no choice. I don't want to waste my time. Because if I reject this job, the next job I wait, I don't know when will it be really. I want to faster get a job. At least I can support my family. Being that we're in the flower business, Valentine's Day, Mother's Day, you'll be required to work additional hours, OTs. OK. OK, great. So now you can start work. <laughs>
I feel quite nervous uh, because I don't know whether they like they will look down on me because I'm an ex-offender. Welcomes to our company. Okay, she's your supervisor, Man Pui. Hello. Hello. Welcome. They introduced me to my supervisor and my other colleagues. Actually, they are quite friendly. Uh. They attached me to one of my colleagues, which is also ex-offender. So yeah, they just came out. So like, we have the chemistry there. Yeah. Morning, driver, in those flowers, we start to cut. Cut then we put in the pot. Okay. Then the next day is every day to cut. Yeah. 人里面你要去找他啊排在哪里了？At first I thought about just a normal cool room, but when you go inside, I feel like my life is like very colorful. When you go inside, you see all kind of flower, all kind of colors. Wow, it's like quite relaxed, yeah. Yeah, it's like different world there. Okay, this one is actually for procurement email. You can go to Google Drive, search for this. Order HQ and store. Okay. So this one is actually updated by our customer service colleague. They will update day by day. To be honest, what she say, I did not really absorb all up. Try out this order. Go and pick this item. Follow the procedure that I taught you. Oh. Ah, how? Copy the order number. Oh, order number. Yeah, you check the order number. Oh, okay. Then go to stock file. Is it? SKU, the website SKU, remember? The final product, you see the picture there? Yeah, so search here. Yes, you have to look for this basket. Is this the one? No. No. This one is bigger. You have bigger. to look for the small one. Small one. But the, the picture, how to see whether it's big or small? I think the design also different. Go and check again. Oh, it's good. Okay, check it square. <laughs> okay. Yes, this is correct, Grayson. <laughs> good job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Grayson, you can choose a color that you like. I like. Yeah. Okay. Any color. Yeah. I didn't expect that. We have to wrap, have to tie ribbon, all this which I never do before. It's a lady's job, actually. From bottom. From bottom. Yeah, from okay. bottom. Then the branding is correct already. Yeah. My hand like leg. Uh. I didn't know that tie a ribbon on a, just a simple chocolate or so is not so easy. Uh. Okay, that like can? Yes, it's okay. Last time, I used to use my hand to do all those rough things, fight, uh, hurt people. But suddenly, I find that I can actually use my hand to do other things, other better things. Uh. Maybe I can make use of these, uh, like in future, any one of the my children or what, I can do, I grab my own, to do it myself uh, more sincere. Bungeng, ready, ready? Yes, very ready. Oh, very ready, yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, thank you. You got to forget anything, huh? all, all in ready, yeah. huh? all take ready. Huh? Yes. Okay, come. Today, I actually releasing from WRIS program. Today is my first day back to the society, and today is the actual so-called first test. Uh. So, yeah, I'm very excited about it. Boon Gang, before you leave towards that door, right, I would like to wish you right, all the best. OK. Please remain positive, OK? I don't want to see you here. I want to see you outside. OK. OK. okay. Thank you. Be sir. a better person, OK? Yes, sir. Right? Thank okay. you, sir. All right. OK, S2, see? Level 1 turnstile bypass door. Level 1 turnstile bypass door.
in Singapore, when an inmate is sentenced to a certain period of imprisonment, the offender serves uh, two-thirds of their sentence in prison and the remaining one-third conditional remission is given to him automatically uh, on the condition that he does not re-offend. Congrats, huh? yes. for you uh, going out today. Yes. We passing you this uh, mission order. You must present yourself for counselling to authorise case manager. Uh, so we will you. Yes, you will be oh. seeing me, and you must not turn up in a state of intoxication under the influence of alcohol or non-prescribed medications or drugs. Mm. You have to reside in this location, this is where you stay, mm. for this period. Condition related to remaining indoors and electronic monitoring. You've got to remain indoors between 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day. Mm. If necessary, you'll be adjusted from time to time by me. Mm. Uh, he read out the long list, uh, a lot of those. There is one rule I'm anxious about, is uh, the timing. Oh. Because the time travel from work, then you have to inclusive of eating before coming back. So your pace has to be faster. Oh. So probably when I'm rushing back, I have to grab. So it uh, will be wasting money. Yeah. I can all uh, wait to watch TV past 12 midnight today. I'm here to inform you that because of what you did, I'm going to send you to pending investigation. Bravo 1, press this to unlock Bravo 403. Scan up. Go talk to the MPR. Okay, Scan up. How are you? Good. Do you know why I call you out here? Hello. Don't know. Are you sure? Is there anything that you think you have done wrongly? Uh, I think during the lab session, uh, I put QR code. QR code? On my slide. Uh. OK. So you know right, it's uh, not a right thing to do? Yes. For now, I'm here to inform you that because of what you did, I'm going to send you to pending investigation. Investigation officer be there to take your statement. Okay. Basically, the whole process of how the project work is uh, carried out in prison school is that students will do their entire project work in the IT lab. And prison school staff will then print to give them a copy of their presentation reports so that they can prepare the presentation. When we saw the QR code on Iskandar's project work, we did a scan and found out it was his prison number. 
we are concerned because in the prison, uh, prison number is equivalent to an IC number of a person. It can be abused. What uh, Iskandar did was he didn't ask for any permission to actually generate the QR code. That was actually an offence too from uh, that point. Lah. Yeah. Why this QR code is very sensitive is because it has the inmate number there. So if it falls into the hands of other inmates, other inmates can log into his e-letters, send out e-letters, impersonate him, he, they can do a lot of things. When an offence is committed, if the report consists of a number of inmates, there's actually a chance for these inmates to be uh, segregated. This is to prevent them from colluding with each other before statement taking. For my case, right, there's five of us. They think like we misuse lah. We want to do some funky stuff. We did all these things. Ah. When the image are segregated, my team will go through the CCTVs or any witnesses. We will take all their statements and then we will meet up with the image to actually understand the side of the story. What actually is the QR code for? For my module, right? Mm -hmm. And it's a time for my own use. Right? Actually, this QR code uh, is the, uh, the link at the computer. The internet can access. Uh. I just type my number, right? So, come out this QR code. Any permission given to access the QR code? There's no permission. Uh. No permission. Uh. Okay. What we understand is that he was not actively uh, searching for for that uh, particular QR code generator. Certain websites, they have auto scripts that will, will pop up application. I think it triggered his curiosity. That's where it, it all started. But what's the actual reason for you to put the QR code on your PowerPoint slide? Actually, I want to use for my own use. So you actually intended to print it out? La. Correct. Correct. Do you intend to pass the QR code after you print it to anybody else? No. So it was only for your personal use now? Yes. I acknowledge it's actually wrong to create a QR code without permission? Yes, it's wrong. Regret your action? Not? Yeah, I regret. Usually, the investigation to education is a long-drawn process. It takes uh, between one to two months to, to complete the entire process. It's unfortunate that they will miss the class. As long as you know it is classified as a minor offence uh, under the prison offence category, school will do our very best to assess so that their studies can be continued if it is possible. Whereas uh, the moment that you know it falls under the major offences classified under the prison, their studies will be ceased. We segregated in this single cell, right? Automatically, I stop school. Uh. I feel regret uh, to do this stupid mistake. Uh. This QR code, I don't, don't even need it. See, I just want to act clever, right? And this is what I get. Uh. I'm the type of person who is very cautious, no. I won't do like stupid, stupid things, no. But that day, I don't, I don't know why I go and do that. Uh. Then I feel like, alamak, it's, it's actually it's a stupid thing, ah. Uh. This is a bad habit. So I have to slowly, slowly kick out. Uh. It'll be a chance to be a dropout. Uh. I feel like, salah really, ah. Uh. My school will be uh, with that. Currently, I'm living in my sister's house because at that time, I actually applied for this accommodation but was uh, not approved. Thanks God that uh, my, my sis gave me uh, this place to stay. My sister is reconnected through by uh, Mr. Simon, my owl, my reintegrate officer. Uh, at least I have a roof now, then I don't have to worry about a roof. Yeah. Okay, so basically, when we uh, come out, we have this device dealing with our device. Uh, so when our curfew time reach, we must within certain radius of this device. If we never reach home within the curfew time, the prison site will actually trigger the alarm. Uh. Usually, they will give us a call uh, to see where we are. I'm now working in Fupenda. I quit my job as a gas service agent because it couldn't pay me enough to sustain my maintenance. So I have to change for a better career. 
I work six day a week. One day I work more than twelve hour. Although it's hard work lah, but then at least uh, whatever effort I put in, I can see the uh, returns at least. Yeah, so I can actually start to save up. Yeah. S2 CCC can open search room one slider. Being covered, because the feeling is not good. Ah. I'm here because I reached the curfew. We may change the clothing into this. To change back to this attire, I feel very angry, frustrated, and unfair, and also not happy. I have to go through all these things again. I feel a bit sad that I lose all my freedom. You can say as per normal, once you go out from your cell, just turn over your cell rocket. Okay? Grayson is an institution S2 to commence his reflection regime. He actually has a total of seven deviations where he took MCs as well as annual leave without informing the halfway house and myself. So this is actually a breach of his program conditions. If they are unwell, they are supposed to tell us before proceeding to report sick so that we are aware of their whereabouts. And also, they are supposed to inform the halfway house and seek approval prior to applying for leave. The communication should be between the halfway house and the supervisee, and not directly with the employer without keeping the halfway house in the loop. So, Grayson, how are you? Okay. Do you know why are you here? I didn't report to halfway house when uh, I'm on MC. So, basically, you had seven breaches in total. It's actually 29 September, 22nd October, 28th of October, and 1st all the way to 4th of November. So, it's a total of seven days. So, these dates, do you recall where exactly did you go? Exactly, I can't remember. But. Yeah, most of the time with my family, yeah, with my stay with my at my home, at my house with my children or yeah, my, my, my mom's place also. You were at home. Then um, because um the time my 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 son was sick is like very rush and then I just go do it my own way lah. Mm -hmm. I just do it without informing. Okay, so that was the last uh, deviation lah. Yes. One morning, my son uh, texted me, said that uh, he's not feeling well. So I took MC to bring him to see a doctor also. So what about your previous deviations? For some time that uh, reporter sick, but um, I'm outside also. So you were out to oh. do your own things? Yes. Huh? I did spend time with my family also, but most of the time, I keep one to be like just outside with my friends, to relax, talk, chat, try to find ways to have more incomes. But of course, not in those like illegal way like doing drugs or this no la. You're supposed to remain in the halfway house when you're sick or when you're on leave la. For not following that, it will be considered as a breach. So what will happen is you will undergo this reflection regime. So the typical reflection regime is for 28 days. However, Grayson has about 14 days before his date of release. So what will happen is we will uh, make arrangements for him to complete this program in the next 14 days where uh, the counsellors will actually come in to engage him and let him relearn skills, social skills that he was uh, lacking, which led him to, conduct, uh, to have this misconduct committed.
So, how do you feel about your own actions? I mean that I did make a mistake, lah, but uh, I feel unfair lah, because some people, they have cases worse than me. Lah. They only got like maybe confinement. Some of all this, I have the proof that I really reported sick. I have the documents with me. I didn't just run off for one. We look at it in a whole picture. Lah, okay? So, when we look at it as uh, just one or two deviations, what you're saying could have been the option. But we are talking about seven deviations. And um, these seven deviations, uh, it was not, not just purely for one purpose. I hope this time will allow you to reflect on exactly what happened. Morning, sir. Muhammad Iskandar bin Hamid Sultan, L220-62201. Muhammad Iskandar bin Hamid Sultan, you are facing one minor offence today. On 14 October 2022, at 4 p.m., you had committed the offence of manufacturing an article without permission to wit. You had created a QR code bearing your prison number, which are not related to your course of study. You are therefore charged under Section 72.135 of the Prison Act. If Suk finds you guilty, Suk can award you up to a maximum of seven days confinement in a punishment cell. For feature of remission not exceeding seven days or a written warning. Do you understand your charge? Yes, sir. Today is my release date. The time here passed. Like, one day is equal to one week. I a very long time. Yeah. When there's no classes, we will be holding in the cell. There will be no movement, no nothing for us. So far, my experience here is uh, <laughs> really like hell. Only we have Bible for reading and the Reflection Regime course book. Uh. The facilities given to him, uh, it's minimal. Reason being, um, he is here for a reflection regime. So the focus is actually for him to learn from the mistakes or misconduct that he has committed. He will use this time to really reflect. Grayson, can you pack your items? Yes, sir. Take care, ah. Five more days, ah. Resto CCC can open Echo 501. This is my fourth incarceration. Then, while I'm coming back this reflection regime, I feel like it's the fifth time I'm coming back to prison. The few days I reflect, when I was outside the past few months, suddenly I got this freedom. I forget I was in prison before. I forget the pains uh, that I have. I'm very afraid that I will fall back. Uh, it's the violent, the anger part. Uh. I'm still trying uh, to my best to change. Anger, we all have anger. Uh, it's just that I want to try to control my anger. OK, thank you. Okay. Thank you for everything. Uh. OK, okay. All the best. Bye. Drug-wise, I'm not worried because I'm very confident that um, I won't fall back. Lah. To be honest, when I saw some old friends they take drugs, I don't feel any trigger or temptation to go and touch it. Lah. To me, as long as I didn't go back to my old self, like, go back to drugs, I find that I really changed already. Lah. Woohoo! I finally released already. Lah. Feel very good. Lah. Freedom, lah. The freedom. I smell the freedom. <laughs> Bye bye, prison. No more prison. After this release, I want to enjoy this freedom. But just don't take for granted. So, my date of release will be extended for four days. This is a minor offence. 
it has been assessed that Iskandar will be able to continue his uh, diploma course and he will be able to graduate well before his release date. This is good news for me. Yeah. Honestly, right, when I was charged, right, I feel angry with the officer. Right. But after my stay at the segregation, right, I think back, it's my mistake. Ah. been behind the bar since 18 months and to be free again is excited. Uh. Yeah, it feels relief. Uh. So you feel the wind, you smell the atmosphere, hope all this pain lead me to a better future. You got one release of uh, Muhammad Kari, long sentence 27086. Uh. Okay. 27086. Okay. Thank you. I have no idea who is waiting for me outside. I will be surprised if anybody that's waiting for me. Uh, how are you? Good. How are you? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm Lula. Hey, thanks for coming, bro. Really much appreciate. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm Lula. Okay. <laughs> this is my daughter. This is my good friend. This is my best friend. <laughs> I'm very surprised lah that they came to pick me up. It's a relief, and it was shock. Uh, right now, I think we're gonna get some food and go back to my place, meeting my mom, and have lunch with her. When I step out from the lift, my heart beating so fast. <laughs> don't know what's the outlook of the house, and don't know how's my mom's condition. Hey, She took a few seconds la, to see is it is it my son and after that she identified that it's me. She feels so good and blessed that you know I'm back to take care of her. Welcome to my humble house where I grew up with my late father, my mom. So this is the first meal with my family, my best friend and my close friend. Precious, uh, precious moment. It feels more home. I don't know what's going to happen next. So I just plan all those things that I used to plan back then. Take care of my mom and uh, taking care of this place. Uh. I'm going back to Sarang Park Supervision Centre to cut my tagging. I feel very happy uh, because finally it's a uh, baggage gone. Hello. Hey, hello, Meow. doctor. Okay, come. Put your leg up. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut. Uh. Mm. Okay, here. Ready? So uh, today you reach a new milestone uh, mm. of uh, removing the tag, which I'm actually very happy for you. Yes. I think you're very happy also. Yes, uh. definitely. <laughs> so now the main thing is to save up money. Uh. It's just a fear that I had. Uh, that because in the past, I always don't have money, then I commit uh, crime, I start to take drugs. So this one around, I try 
to save out the money, so I wouldn't have the thoughts. I mean, I do see your point of uh, saving for the future, lah. But being stable also need yeah, support, support from the yes, support yes, group. Yes, yes. So these are important structures. Yes. Now I excited to face the future once again, ah, like really on my own already. Okay, mark my word, I never come back. <laughs>